Okay, to begin with, you got to put a little oil in the pan. How much? Well, enough to make it greasy all over. I use, uh, this is olive oil and and canola. That's not working. Let me, let me do it. Okay. What do you mean it ain't working? You're pointing at the wall. I'm a pointing at what I'm looking at. Well, I'm going to do it like this. Well. I want to help you. Okay. That's real good pointing at the floor. You get all greased up good and slick, and I let it run around on the sides or two so it can stick to the sides. Yeah. So it's heated up right now. No, not yet. I'm going to heat me. Sit on there and let it be a heat. Okay. Now this ain't got no buttermilk in the mix, so. I've got my oven already pre-warming. How, how hot? I got it on 450. You can't pay any attention to that. It depends on the oven. Now this is important. Okay. You got to have a little dry stuff in there that will stick to your pan. Okay. Now you don't want to burn that, but you want it to get hot. So. It's sizzling. I know, I'm going to set it over here. I want it hot, but I don't want it to burn. Now, you don't want too much buttermilk. You just want enough to do the job. That looks like enough to do the job. You see that? Yeah. The rest of it's going to be water. Okay, what do you think the proportions are? A little bit, a whole lot more. Hmm. Okay. And this is self-rising? Yeah, I'm going to put it self-rising meal. And I'm going to put water in before I stick a spoon to it because I'm going to stir that there buttermilk up in my, in my water a little bit. And you want this consistency of good concrete. And you mix some concrete or maybe brick mortar. You don't want it too soupy, but you want it good and wet. I'm going to go over here and set my pan back on and let it get good and hot. Okay. Get all that dry stuff out of the bottom. That's looking about right. You got a picture of that consistency there. Yeah. Julia Child. Yeah, give me a little more of that wine. Okay. It's gotten a little brown in there. Don't hurt it. It ain't burnt. You don't want to paste it against the edges, but you want to touch the edges. You don't want to mash it in or it will stick. Oh. I didn't... See how that looks? Yeah. Okay. Now I've got it in this oven. I'm going to put this oven. I'm going to set it on. Looks like 30 minutes. Now these ovens are tricky. This ain't, don't base anything on the oven thing here. Okay. And I'm done. Now I'm going to come back out here just to talk to make sure that and I'm going to turn it, rotate the pan so it'll brown more evenly. And then you've got a daughter mm -hmm. that washes your dishes. Is that how you do it? Yep. Okay. Let's see well, how it turns out. The next thing we're going to do and we're going to have some corn on off of the cob. So I want you to shuck this and get you a knife and cut the corn off into something. I'm going to warm it up. We're going to have corn and we're going to have... We're cutting it? Huh? We're cutting it off? Cutting it off the cob. Okay. You know how to do that, don't you? Nana showed you that. And we're going to take these black-eyed peas and them pickles and that corn and that cornbread and we're going to eat. Okay. 
Okay.